What's up, MMA fans? Today we are catching up with Glover Teixeira. Welcome, Glover. Hey, thank you, my friend. Always a pleasure to have you here, Glover. You went to Vegas with the expectation to face the winner of Ankala Evan, Jan Boahovic. How, how do you feel when the fight ended up in a draw? And how you found out that you're going to face Jama, Jama Hill? Hey, uh, you know, I feel like I was like confused, you know, like who I'm fighting next and uh, just confusing me. But uh, thanks to now, quick, you know, soon then I went to the backstage, uh, uh, Hunter and Mick called me and we have, uh, they asked me if I fight in Brazil uh, for the title with Jamal Hill and uh, I said, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> you're training for Giri Prohaska, almost the, the whole camp. And now you're going to face uh, a similar opponent. Like uh, he's a striker, tall, uh, knockout power. Uh, what's the difference you see between Giri Prohaska and Jamal Hill? Uh, you know, Jamal is more like a traditional stance. You know, Jiri, I think, is more like a confusing a, a, a more. Um, but uh, Jamal, um, you know, he's a tough guy, man. He's a tough guy. He's uh, He had a good fight with Thiago Santos. And, uh, you know, he's been doing really good lately. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm honored to fight him, yeah. Uh, do you see him as a more difficult opponent than Jiri Prohaska? Difficult, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, de definitely Jiri's style is more difficult. Jiri's style that, that messes anyone, man. The, the, he got that crazy style, crazy in the ground. Um, he throw punches, throw kick at the same time. It's difficult to train for for Jiri because no one can even simulate him. Uh, Jamal, I'm not saying he's harder Oh, easy. We find out, right? But uh, Jamal definitely is easier to prepare for a guy like Jamal. Yeah. Lova, you don't fight in Brazil for seven years, if I'm not wrong. Uh, you also fought uh, against uh, like a home hometown guy, like a Gustafsson. You you fought in his house. Uh, how more difficult is for Jamal Hill to fight here in Rio with the, the whole crowd supporting you? Uh, for, for sure, the crowds is helping me. You know, I fought in the other country, like you say, uh, Gustavson, and uh, if you divide, man, divide. I mean, I don't, I don't get bothered too much. It doesn't, doesn't make uh, uh, much difference, but it does like give you the uh, the the boost, the edge. You know, I I, I don't know. Let's say, for example, uh, it's a hot. Like that fight uh, with the, with the jury, you know. If it was in Brazil, it could be a possibility that the fans would get you going. You know what I mean? And uh, and it could be turn around the the difference. That 28 second in my, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying that it's a possibility. So that's when I say when you're tired, or or even this last fight with um, Ian. And, uh, and, and I, I have. believe that it, it, maybe if the fight was in Poland, when Jan hurt his leg there, the, the crowd go crazy. Come on, you know, there will be a possibility for him to finish there. The booster, you know, like that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that little cough, that little espresso cough, that's what the, 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 <laughs> the, the fans give it to you, you know. And I, I love to fight in Brazil. I love the energy. And... Um, for sure, it's going to be a uh, help for me. Yes. Glover, you are 43 right now. Uh, until what age you intend to fight? Uh, what do you intend to do? You're getting the, the, the belt in Brazil. What is your, your next step? You think you're going to face Chiri again? You want that fight again? Yes, man. That'd be, that'd be a good uh, fight to have uh, eventually, you know, uh, focus on the fight right now, focus on the belt, you know, win the belt and uh, definitely fight jury. Maybe you've got to fight somebody else uh, before that. Um, like Kalaev or Jan, who knows? But um, reality is 
planning to retire, man. I uh, I planned to retire when I was like, I don't know, when I, 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 I say, I, I, when I got to UFC, I say, hey, man, maybe if I uh, fight to I'm 40 in UFC, it would be amazing, you know? And here I am, 43. So, I don't know. I'll say 45, but uh, <laughs> who knows, man? Who knows? I'm keeping, like I say, I'm keeping my lifestyle change big time, you know? And I, I am more like a, a home choir. I am into like... A, meditation and just stay home and i go out to train man this this camp people saying to me like oh go over new years and christmas you're, you're not gonna be able to this make me stronger man make me feel better because and, and to be honest uh it's a it's it's a great thing to not go anywhere that you don't want to go you know it's a great excuse it's like Oh, it's Christmas and New Year's. Let's do this. Let's do that. No, I'm camp. I got fight coming up, you know. <laughs> fight coming up. Then, uh, with this. Because before I was not that guy. Maybe that's why I didn't get the real. I was, you know, I'm always been a tremendous fighter. I know this myself. I knew for sure. You know, you talk with Pedro Hizo. You talk with Chuck Liddell. Those guys been saying for years, I'm, I'm, I'm the next champion. I'm the next champion. You know, you talk to Lioto, all those guys I train with. But uh, my discipline was off, you know. Discipline was off. But like, uh, and I start focus. I start discipline myself more. And I, I and it's not like uh, I change the lifestyle. I change the lifestyle. I, uh, I really did. I don't. I like this lifestyle better. It's better for me. It's healthier. It's more chill. I don't drink as much anymore. You know, I just, I don't go out. I don't have to go out and eat out anymore. I, I enjoy it, man. Just stay home, cook my meals, cook good meals with, like, good stuff, things that I know, you know, organic stuff or coconut oil. This is make a difference, man. Make a big, huge, uh, look what happened. 42 years old, I become a champion. 43, I'm fighting, um... For the champion of 43, I got the best fight of the year. Who, who at 43 years old got the best fight of the year, man? Uh, That's this, true. Uh, like, <laughs> right? But uh, it is is doing, is working, right? And then we knew that. I knew that. It's just a, it's a matter of time, like, to do it. So I don't know when to when i'm gonna fight you know there's no injuries right now everything's good you know of course like little things here and there we all do we all have that but uh i'm feeling good man that that's the most important what about uh Poitain? Poitain, you said he had a little injury uh before the fight with the son and he fought with a little injury in his hand and uh will will, will will he be able to help you in this camp against Hill? Yeah, he'll be help. He was there today. We worked today a little bit on uh, some uh, some strategy already, some kick drills and some takedowns. But like, uh, um, but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he hurt his finger before the fight, but got aggravated after the fight because it was little, he couldn't close the hand well, you know, so he didn't train with MMA gloves or for the whole camp for the same, but it was okay for us because we thought I I to be honest, like uh well the same did not take him down. He was a trip over there that was beating bolo, yeah. Uh, it was a trip that he got he got to the ground. People say all the same take him down was not a takedown for this, it was not a temp takedown for the sign, it was a temp takedown from uh what uh what but he was in a bad position. He went um, because he kicked. He kicked and he grabbed the kick. I remember that. But anyway, I, I, I'm like, okay, I'm, I was very comfortable with the fight going. He's not training wrestling like he was supposed to or jiu-jitsu because I um, I knew the fight. We saw the fight with Adesanya and, um, and uh, Jan. And we, we, we knew uh, the sign could not take him down, you know. And I was actually impressed that he did it. Uh, 
and the third round over there, like kind of clinch him and, and hold him in the clinch for, for a little bit. But that's what I told them in the fourth. You know, I say, come on, man. Don't let these guys win the fight like this. You're going to regret for the rest of your life. So, so in that fourth round, he went over there. Pace the fight. We kind of, we all see the way his style, or his, his resting, his recovering. Then he went over there in the fifth. I say what I say, you know, so you got to go and got to finish. And he went there and did it. I, uh, he's incredible, man. And he will be in your corner doing the same to you? Here in Rio? Yeah, he'd be, in my, he'd be in my corner. Maybe not doing the same, you know, because we think about it here, you know. We think about it. I say what I say because he was losing the fight, you know. I oh, hope, yeah. <laughs> I hope I, he doesn't have to say. I hope he's saying, hey, Glover, keep doing what you're doing. Go over there. Yes. Good. <laughs> That's what you hope. Yeah, you're right. And, and talking about... Uh, uh -huh. But we know each other so much, you know, we train with each other. Our mind man, is like, it's the same. Like, it really, like, we watching the fight, right, uh, to, uh, Saturday night. And um, I don't know which fight it was. I think it's Patty Pimbit. Uh, 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 he Gordon, he Gordon. over there. Was, uh, he showed, he shows, and Pata look at me and said, did you see that? I say, yeah, I saw you see the connection is there like me and chalk back then back then like we just look at some guy to do like some weird move i just look at chalk and chalk like i know i saw it so it's like a uh, connection is there so with patan being in the corner you know my coach finale my coach john hackman it's, it's gonna be great man uh, uh talking about his wrestling skills you you just said that uh uh about about uh Adesanya taking him down uh i saw daniel cormier and other guys talking about shimaev and would be a very bad fight for Poitain. and you there is no one better than you to talk about that once you train every day trying to take Poitain down uh do you believe if if we put uh Whitaker, Burrachinha, and shimaev you agree with most people that Shimaev would be the worst matchup for Pota? Uh, I believe the Winnick will be the, the, the toughest matchup. You know, he went with Adesanya a couple of times, and uh, Shimaev uh, definitely a, a tough guy. They're all tough. They're all tough that you mentioned there. You know, Borrachinha, Shimaev. But uh, I think the weight, uh, you, you don't understand how strong uh, uh, Poitain is. And the wrestling, too. Of course, uh, if he train Fushimaev, is going to be a, a, a wrestling, a, a training every day, drilling for, for any of those guys, any of those wrestlers, you know, because, uh, like I say, with uh, this is the opportunity that we have to fight for the title for Patan, and um, he hurt his finger... And he couldn't train wrestling 100%, but I was not, we, nobody was too worried about it. As long as he can train the stand up, he put the big gloves on and was okay. Even to train the, uh, the grappling that we did, he did it with the bigger gloves, with the, with the boxing gloves, like wall work and, and even in the ground, you know. He do everything with the bigger gloves, but uh, for sure, if you fight a wrestler, we definitely put a lot more work, you know, wall work, you know, with wrestling, and it'll be a different guy, too. You think so? He will, He will. his next fight is, is going to be a uh, uh, revenge against uh, Adesanya? It's your opinion. Just asking your opinion. Yeah, the rematch, I I, uh, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. My opinion is that, like, uh, I think that Adesanya... Uh, would wait a little more, you know, he's crazy, he'll take that fight right away, but like, uh, hey man, he, he's the one that's talking about it, I, um, maybe, he just definitely deserved the rematch because uh, the way he was doing in the fight and the way he lost, he definitely uh, uh, deserved the rematch, yeah. Thank you, Glover. Yeah, I have you thought that if you win that belt for the first time in history, Brazil will have five belts by the at the same time, you may get that. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, Pressure's on me, huh? Let's get it. 
<laughs> nice. Thanks a lot, Glover. Good luck. See you in Rio in, in one month. All right, my friend. Thank you.